In today's episode, I launch a series of political attack ads against my roommate. Straight up, David Miller killed President Kennedy. David Frank's be pretty good, I'll, I'll admit it. What is this? It's a court order. You frame me for tax fraud? And we eat one of the best meals of our life, not an exaggeration. It's SpongeBob! What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Doug. I'm David. And recently I've been super bored. Like literally sitting on my bed, staring at the ceiling and doing absolutely nothing. Eventually though I realized I had valuable time on my hands that I could be using in so many better ways. I could have worked on that app idea that I've had for the longest time or maybe even studied for one of my many, many finals that I have coming up next week, none of which I'm prepared for. What I eventually decided on, which objectively is the worst option, was launching a series of political attack ads against my roommate David for no other reason than because I thought it would be funny. Hey there, I'm Doug Fowler. David Miller, who has been my roommate for nearly an entire year, wants to appear that he's a good, innocent, God-fearing Christian boy, but unfortunately that's simply not true. David has left a long trail of people who have been hurt by his past transgressions, but don't take it from me, take it from them. One time, I saw David Miller open a new pack of gum and take a piece out. And when I asked him for a piece, he said, Sorry, that was my last piece. Even though I just saw him open the fresh pack of gum! David Miller's favorite member of One Direction is, um, it's Liam. One time, David Miller came up to me and he put his finger on my shirt. And he said, there's something on your shirt. So I looked down at my shirt to see what was on it and he just flicked my nose. There was nothing on my shirt. Straight up, David Miller killed President Kennedy. Know the truth. That's it. That's the ad. Okay. Great ad. Really makes you think about my co-host here. But um, anyway. Hey, I made um, an ad too. What? I made an ad. Oh. Okay. Hi, I'm David, and you might know me from all the charitable work I've done, etc. But recently, this man named Doug Fowler has made blasphemous claims about myself. This Douglas Fowler has time and time again proven to use his outrageous claims to cause terror and wreak havoc on all of civilization and life itself. And if you don't believe me, just listen to our evidence. Doug Fowler has never publicly denounced the 18th Amendment. If we allow him to continue making his content, he will take all of our bevs away. Bev taker. One time, during online school, I said, I can't take this shit anymore. And um, Doug, he uh, came into my room and he shat on my desk. And he said, you can take this shit. In my shirt! Doug Fowler one time took one of my ketchup packets without asking. Power hungry. Please help us in stopping Doug Fowler before he eventually takes over the world, or much, much worse. That was, uh, that was beautiful, Dave. Yeah, that's not all. <laughs> what is this? It's a court order. It says I'm under federal indictment for multiple accusations of massive tax fraud. Yeah. Yeah. Did you frame me for tax fraud? Yeah, baby! All for the prank! Oh, Woo! oh this is a prank. This is, so this, is not, this isn't real? No, no, that's real. That, that's an actual court order. You've been served, bitch. My court date's today. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. Hey guys, I'm back. Won the case, proved my innocence. David did a weirdly, really good job of framing me for tax fraud. Cost me $400,000 in legal fees though, so I'm gonna have to start selling my body. But let's be honest, we all knew it would come to this eventually anyway. So. Where is everybody? Um, hold on. Dude, remember that time guys? waxed us though? Like, I still got the mark for Yeah, I mean, my yeah. chest hasn't even fucking, uh... Guys, what's up guys? I'm back from uh, the federal court circuit. Wait. Away for three wait, months. Wait. There, there's two of you. What? What do you mean there's two of me? What the fuck? Yo, what is that? What am I looking at? Doug. That's not Doug. I'm Doug. Funny joke. This looks nothing like me. That is. Are you seeing you have twin this? Brothers? No, I don't have a twin. This is a pillow in dress hey, pants. Wait, and who are you? I mean, that's. Doug. I'm Doug. We look Just... nothing alike. Do you... 
This is a paper bag. We're all getting a little flustered. I'm gone for three months getting sued by every okay, which okay, direction. Wait, okay, you got me against the wall. I had to make an exact replica of you while you were gone. What do you mean exact replica? It looks Are like this you? took you two minutes. What? Identical! It doesn't even have legs! Look at this! All right, look, look, look. Be nice, Doug. We don't know who you are. You came in, you started insulting we our We don't know who dog. I am. I've known you for a year. You started insult insulting our buddy Doug. We, know we don't appreciate it. it. You just admitted that this is a fake that you created. We, you just said that. We don't appreciate it, man. We've been with Doug for a year, uh, dude. Do you not see- well, who do you think I am? Who do you think I am? I don't know who you are. Some I mean, you look, look, you look just I know like everything Doug. about you guys. I, I know things that only Doug would know. I know that you have six toes on both feet. I know that. I know that. I know that they called you tripod in high school because you paid them to. Alright man, so um, <laughs> we're ready to uh, get going. No, it's a pillow and a shirt. That is- Look, it's a pillow and a hey, shirt! Hey, no, Look, wait, no, no, it's I'm a pillow! What? <laughs> what are you doing? His head's on the other side. Come on, you son of a bitch! You, what are you just hitting him? Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here! So we're back. David and I are currently pretty mad at each other. We're in a fight. David is mad because I threw his pillow on the ground and I called his exact replica in very loose quotes. Dumb. And I'm a little peeved with David because he directly put me into hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt to fund a legal venture that made it to the federal circuit. In an effort to bury the hatchet, David and I are gonna do the one thing humans have been doing to squash beef since the time of the Romans. A mukbang. Today, we will be attempting a new type of, of content here on the channel. Food reviews, okay? I am Italian in my blood. David, he eats a lot of food. So that's good. And I think we can bring those skills to the table here. And let's see what we're eating today. Kids cuisine. SpongeBob edition. When the moon hits your eye. It's SpongeBob. Patrick! Patrick after he came back from Vietnam. Yeah, Why is his yeah, arm, his, arm blue. Let's dig, let's dig in. Okay, that's gross. It's also gross. This is spongy. Oh, I got corn in the brownie. Fuck! This is why I'll never amount to anything. You want any dressing with your delicacy? I'm o I'm okay, mate. The hell was that? <laughs> what were you going for there? Yeah, it's actually the same noise my my parents made when I was born. Did you know that? Eh, meh. I'm gonna go for SpongeBob's head. Oh my gosh, is... you just beheaded him. Let him die. Now he's got the blood on him too. Oh. It melts in your mouth, which is not good for meat. You know what they say, eat the veggies before they're cold, because then they're just twice as bad. So you gotta eat the veggies and <laughs> get them over, out of the way, funny. you know? Yeah, that's true. Did they fuck up corn? Because that would be impressive. Not bad. Really? Just kind of soupy. All right, well, let's see what Daddy Who Is Me thinks about it. Oh, nice. I'm going mac. Okay, we're getting into the mac and cheese now. You know, going back to Doug's homeland, right? What does that mean? You know, Italian. Oh, mac and cheese. That's racist. All right, let's rewind. <laughs> I guess we're not going. Not to Doug's homeland, no. Do they have mac and cheese in Italy? In Italia? I don't know. I've never been. I thought you were. I am. I'm as Italian as they come. Two weights. It doesn't taste like anything. Really? And it's like almost, it's almost cold. Oh, there's a bad aftertaste. Oh, boy. Oh, good. Dessert, yay! yay. Yuck. Bottoms up. But, yep, let's see it. Up. Oh. <laughs> I saw all the joy leave your eyes when you took the bite. <laughs> Not terrible. Really? Legit, like, you took your kitchen sponge and, like, soaked it in Hershey's chocolate or something. I don't That's know. not terrible to you? That was harder to chew than the chicken. That's disgusting. <laughs> it, it's so spongy. I'm just gonna finish this off. Yeah, of course you will. <clears throat> What's that mean? I just noticed that you finished that off and didn't finish the corn off. Um, well, I'm sad now. But we have fun sunglasses. Let me see if these make it any better. Overall, I give the meal five Lunchables out of seven Dan Danimal yogurts. I am uh, still empty inside even with these sunglasses. This meal has proven to me, well, this meal hasn't showed, like, proven it to me, but it's strong evidence that there is no God, uh, and if there is, he is not a loving one. Where is it? Marco. It's like you look so happy. 
I assure you, I am not. Needless to say, after that, our relationship has never been better. Sure, I'm half a million dollars in debt, but this son of a bitch bought me a sponge brownie. And after all, what more could a man need? Anyway, let's get to today's question of the week of the day. Does chapter 11 bankruptcy forgive legal fees? No relation to what's going on in my personal life, I'm just curious. Answer in the comments as soon as possible. Besides that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Be sure to subscribe for a new video every single week and check out my most recent upload. And I'll see you guys next week with more fever dreams. Have a good one. David, out. No, that is not going to be a catchphrase. <laughs>